Now, while that ship was allowed to dock in Ocho Rios, another cruise ship was denied access on Tuesday. The Health Minister, Dr. Christopher Tufton, is insisting that the government acted in accordance with the law. Dr. Tufton also said that further action could be taken against the cruise line. Here's Shamela Pullen. As TVJ News reported earlier this week, a cruise line with more than 4,500 passengers and more than 1,600 crew members denied access to the Ocho Reyes cruise terminal in St. Anne on Tuesday because a crew member was placed in isolation for flu-like symptoms. Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton is insisting that despite disappointment expressed in a release on Wednesday by the cruise line, the government stands by its decision to deny access. We have written to the port authority, which manages or helps to manage these, the cruise line industry. Um, I have had discussions clearly with my cabinet colleagues, including the Prime Minister and uh, highlighting the circumstances and um, further action could be taken against the vessel for breaching, the specific vessel for breaching the, the Quarantine Act. He said the government is prepared to deny access to other vessels if the rules are not followed. The vessel, having had a requirement under the quarantine laws to report any health-related threat that is on board prior to landing did not make such a report. Uh, in fact, they filed a report which did not give any indication that that was the case. When the health team actually boarded the vessel, they, were, they discovered that there was an individual in isolation on the vessel. Uh, that, in, it, in effect, is a breach of the protocol in that the health team should have been advised before the vessel um, landed on, sh on, 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 the, on our shores. Dr. Tufton said with the virus spreading to at least 56 countries and the case numbers rising, it is likely that it eventually can become a pandemic and even affect us here in Jamaica, which is why the government is trying to delay as much as possible to prevent it from getting in. And let it not be said that we did not do all that is possible. And so any action that requires that first case scenario of prevention and second case of delaying and delaying has its advantages delaying for example provides an opportunity for a vaccine to be developed for example for an under, a better understanding of the virus and also the appropriate levels of responses that may be required that would be able to effectively deal with the virus because it's new and we learn every day about it Shamela Pullen, TVJ News